Good morning. So one more numerical on the topic of uh, friction, but this is, you know, more to do with, uh, you know, concept development. So it is uh, from uh, friction, part of mechanics. If you look into this block, this block is on a ground and, you know, is being pulled by a force of 100 newtons. You know, when it is pulled by this force of 100 newtons, all what it generates is a constant velocity of 2.5 meter per second, all right? The mass of the block is given. Now, since the velocity is constant, right, there is no acceleration, right? So if you look into this figure, you know, there is definitely a force of friction which is acting here, right? And since the body is moving, it has to be, you know, the kinetic friction which is working. So if you look into the problem number one, the acceleration is zero because the body is moving with, you know, so acceleration is zero because the body is moving with constant velocity. The force, you know, uh, the friction, uh, frictional force, which, you, which is this, it must be equal and opposite to, you know, this force. So the force of friction is pregnant newtons. It is acting here in the left direction. So force of friction is this. The net force on the body is zero because it is being pulled up you know, on the right hand side and there is a leftward frictional force. So the net force, you know, the resultant of the pull force and the frictional force is 100 minus 100 is equal to zero. You have to find the coefficient of friction which is given by, you know, mu mg, you know, is equal to the normal reaction. And if you, you know, which is mg is the normal reaction in this case. So if this is your, you know, mg, you know, this is your mg, you will have a normal reaction, you know, which is equal and opposite. So we know what is, uh, you know, the mu mg, the frictional force is equal to 100. So mu multiplied by 50 multiplied by 10 is equal to 100 and you get mu is equal to 100 divided by 500, right? So you get your coefficient of friction and the force of normal reaction is just equal to mg, which is 50 into 10, right? So, so the, the mass of the body is pushing the earth downward and the earth is giving a normal reaction equal to the force with which the body is pushing the earth. So that is equal to 500 newtons. Simple question, but it gives you a sense of, you know, if you have a body in constant velocity, it has balanced forces, which is the friction is being, you know, is balancing the pull force and therefore resulting in a constant velocity. And with that you can find the frictional force, you can find the net force is zero. So the body is moving, but the net force is zero and there is no acceleration, right? So you can get, you know, many such numericals. Start doing frictional, uh, you know, forces with small numericals that help you, you know, develop the concept. So if you like this video, please subscribe to it. And thank you very much for your attention.